from the University of Florida's College of Journalism and Communications. You're watching WUFD News. Caden Blue, a four-year-old from Ocala, loves riding his toy tractor, climbing up and down his swing set, and bouncing on his trampoline. He loves Skittles, coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, and licking chocolate icing off donuts. He seems like an ordinary four-year-old, except he's not. Caden has been battling acute lymphoblastic leukemia since he was 10 months old, a disease that last hospitalized him for four months straight. It didn't affect him. He just kept pushing on, and he's just the strongest thing I've ever seen. So he's just, he really is just a tough guy. Higher, 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 higher. Ready? Okay. During those four months in the hospital, Caden received some special guests in his room. University of Florida senior basketball players Will Yaget and Patrick Young walked into his room expecting him to be in awe of them. I, wasn't, I don't think he was impressed. Uh, most kids, when they meet us, they are, oh my gosh, they're so tall, oh my gosh, they're so big, I don't want to do this. Like, they're really shy, but he wasn't shy, he wasn't sleepy at first. I think he just woke up from a nap, so he was kind of, you know, had the sleepy eyes, crusting his eyes, still thing going on, and he wasn't speaking too much. And uh, when we finally got him to come out of his shell, he felt comfortable. Uh, he was telling us how his, his arms are bigger than ours. Caden loves superheroes. And you could say that Yaget became the Robin to his Batman. They do everything together go to the park, shoot hoops, and play fight just like what brothers would do. Will surprised Caden at his fourth birthday by driving out to Ocala and dressing up as a Ninja Turtle to help Caden open his presents. But there's one thing that Will was looking forward to. I want him to come to a game. I want him to come to a game. I want him to be able to go to uh, the locker room and just like hang out with me, uh, being out there giving us high five, uh, watching us warm up. Caden got to see Will hit his second career three-pointer this November. And after nailing it, Will pointed up to Caden and his family. You know, we've been, been through a lot with him and I saw him when he was not at his best. And just him being at the game was really, really special. So he's got so much better. And now like, he has uh, going back now. And uh, he's running around pretty good. Will and Caden are always there for each other. That's what best friends do. What are you doing, dude? I was telling him what he was doing at home or how his week was going. Uh, I was telling him about, you know, I had a few surgeries, so I said, we talked talk about that. Learning what Caden has gone through in his short life has taught those around him that living life to the fullest is what matters most. Um, I learned how to survive. I've, I've watched him survive through the toughest times. And no matter what happens in life, I think I can survive because of him. Every time when stuff happens to you, you just think it's the end of the world. You just think it's the worst that can ever happen. You get graduates in May, but says nothing will stop his friendship and love for his favorite superhero, Caden Blue. Chris Kirshner, WUFT News.